Hello. So I am not going outside today at all. I'm going to stay inside, do some pacing, do some work, probably do some cardio later, but I'm not going outside. Yesterday I ended up getting heat exhaustion, which is really surprising. I mean, I do know that I don't handle heat as well as most people, but I didn't realize that it was possible to get heat exhaustion when it wasn't even that hot. But I think it was probably because of the cycling the day before. I think I really tired myself out and I just didn't give myself a chance to recover from that before going for a two hour walk the next day. And yeah, it was pretty heavy to carry the groceries that I bought on my back and it was getting hot and I was getting really tired. And then I came home and within maybe one hour or so, I started feeling the nausea and the pain and I was cramping and just, yeah, it was really awful. I've had heat exhaustion twice before in my life, but this was kind of surprising. And it wasn't that bad. It wasn't the worst episode of heat exhaustion that I've ever had, but it was just really surprising. Again, like, I don't understand why it affected me so much yesterday because it really wasn't that hot at first. And I went, it was fairly early, I think early afternoon, so it wasn't really that hot yet. And Yesterday got a lot hotter around late afternoon, around like 4 or 5, and it got really, really hot. But I went out before then, so I don't know why it affected me so much. Again, like I said, it's probably just because of the cycling the day before. I did 25 kilometers, it was a lot. There was two hours outside on a bike, and it was just a little bit too much for me to handle, I guess, because I ended up getting sick the next day. But I don't feel sick today. Um, I'm still a little tired. I did not sleep well because of the nausea. But I don't have very much muscle soreness or anything like that, which is surprising, again, because 25 kilometers on a bike and I haven't been on a bike since last year. So it's been over a year since the last time I even sat on a bike. So the fact that I was able to do 25 kilometers is still unbelievable to me. But that's probably why I ended up getting sick the next day. It probably was too much and I didn't realize because I still felt fine at first. So I didn't realize that I was kind of overdoing it. So that's something to be careful about. Um, I'm not planning on doing 25 kilometers again anytime soon. I'm going to be just um, trying to get to the gym and back as soon as I come back from visiting my family. So that shouldn't be too much and it shouldn't be too much trouble for me to handle and hopefully I won't get heat exhaustion again. But for today, I'm just going to be doing some walking in my house and some cardio later if I feel up for it. But I'm not going outside, I'm not gonna risk it. So I'm just gonna stay indoors all day and get some work done.